All right, so we got our form, the first form on the left side on the last video, right? So what we need is we need a table here on the right hand side so we can display some of the categories that we are going to be uh, editing and adding and doing CRUD on it. And remember CRUD means create, read, update, and delete. That's an acronym. So now we have the form here. This is the form. We want to create something else in the bottom related to this. So I'm just going to use the same class diff here and because I want to split things in half and that's how we do it. That this, remember this is we're using a framework here and this framework is helping us out style things and make things responsive really easy. So let's go ahead and create a table. Let's actually create a table. Inside that table, we're going to create a something called a T head element. Inside the T element, I'm going to create a row. That row is going to have two T H's uh, times two T H elements. And that's about it. All right. And I click on tab, and that does this for me. And remember, that's a plugin that we downloaded with this editor for those of you that have this editor. If you don't have this editor and you weren't able to do that, just pause the video and copy it. All right. So we're going to put the ID right here on the TH and category title here. All right, let's look at that. We should have something. Let's refresh. All right, we do have something here, but it's on style, all right? We have no styles there. We're going to have to put some classes in here and make this a little better. So we want to add something, so it, at least we, we are looking at something, right? So inside this TH, let's add a T body. Well, not inside, after it. Let's add two row, a row with two TDs times two. There we go. And let's just add something here saying something like uh, baseball, just for demonstration purposes only. Baseball. Cat category and basketball. All right, let's just check it out. Refresh. As you can see here, it looks pretty bad because we this framework is stripping down some of the default styles from the browser, but we are going to be fixing that right now. Let's add a class here called table. That should just help it out a little bit. And let's see, refresh it. And now that is styling this really nice right now, right? Uh, let's use another style here. Let's add more data. Let's add a little bit a little more TDs. All right. So actually, let's add another row with some TDs, right? Let's just, this is fine the way it is, to be honest with you. That's fine. We, we are good to go with, with this. We, we will be putting more data in here, but right now, let's just leave it like that. I don't want to put too much content that we don't need. So table, let's put another class here called uh, table border. And this is going to make it look nicer. All right. So we are squaring everything here. Let's actually use another one too. I think this will work fine with it. Um, hover. Let's refresh it. And if we put our mouse over it, we can see that. All right, that's being hovered over. I mean, we hover over it. We can see that it's playing nice with us. All right. So I think we're done with this table here. We will be doing some more things with it. But right now, we won't be able to do anything because this lecture is getting kind of long for you. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this lecture, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.